Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this is part 11 of the Sculpting Fantasy Miniatures tutorial series. And we're getting really serious here now. In this part, we're going to make ourselves a very small uh, female warrior. And um, let, me, let me give you a, a wrap-up of, of what we do, uh, a summary of what we do. Um, first, you do your sketches up. Sketch yourself, and I did a bunch of sketches until I found something that I liked, and I like the stance of the warrior here, and I like the posture and pose, so that's pretty good. I'll, I'll, let, me, let me give you, see if I can give you a closer look. Uh, can you see that? So that's what we're going to be sculpting, is that. And you, and you need some kind of drawing, generally you need some kind of a drawing to work from so you can uh, do the sculpture. So from there, what we do is we... Um, we make our armature for the miniature and I have a tutorial specifically on armatures and his I've already made up the armature here for this one for this figure as you can get a closer look here now uh, nice thing about this is it's like um, creating gestures so you can see the uh, I've I've copied the gesture of the see how she's her head is leaning a little bit forward but her back is a little bit arched and so, and her um, stance is a little bit spread. So you take your time and you make a nice armature and get to try to get the gesture of her, of her body or the miniature's body as best you can. So, and that's actually a lot of fun. And I, um, I did solder this in the middle here to make it uh, stronger. I mean, you don't have to solder it if you don't want, but you know, take your time and make a nice armature. Now, I want to show you one more thing here is you have to take a look at this now. This is the last miniature we did and now this is the new miniature so there's a significant difference in size there. See? So we did the Viking and now we're going to do the female warrior. So you gotta see that's uh, you, so it takes a lot more effort a lot more concentration and more skill to get down to that level. And that's why so far we've got 10 installments in this tutorial is because you can't just go start making the tiniest miniatures. You got to learn how to work the how to work the clays. You have to learn um, you know how to how to get everything right, the armatures. So it takes time in practice. But now we're getting to the point now where we're doing some serious stuff. So let me go over the tools. Of course some wire for armature and the stiffer yet thin wire. This is like garden wire. Um, variety of pliers and side cutters to make that armature. And then to apply the <clears throat> apply the sculptor's putty, I've got a whole variety of different kinds of tools here. And one of my favorite ones is this one right here. It's a little paddle. If you can see that little tiny paddle. That one's really nice. I like that one because I'm able to um, apply small amounts of putty. So you got to get yourself a wide variety of very small tools. And I have a variety of picks here too, which are nice. But these 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 tools are inexpensive. You know, you can pick these up in um, discount stores inexpensively. So I recommend you get a bunch of those. You're going to need a, a, a an exacto knife or some kind of a razor. And I've got files. So now let me explain what we're going to do here. And in this tutorial, I'm sorry, but I'm not actually going to do any sculpting yet and that'll come in the next one and I'm sorry I know you're, you're anxious you want to see me do some sculpting but uh, I really need to go over some of the things that you have to do before you actually just make a figure so there are three different types of let's let's talk about the sculptor's putty there are three different types that generally I use and one of them is this one right here called procreate and this is my favorite I like this stuff really I like this stuff a lot and um, there's Milliput and there's green stuff and there's a couple more but what they are is this is not like your normal clay that you're used to working with now we're getting down to professional a professional clay here so what happens is this comes in two sticks here one is a resin and one is a hardener so what happens is, is you cut off or break off a little piece of each and then you mix them together and when you see that the color, when the, when the color is uniform, it'll be a uniform gray, you, you'll know you're ready to start using it as sculpting material. Now here's the thing, uh, with 
procreate, generally you mix half and half, about the same amount of each. And what will happen there is you'll have about two hours of working time between before you can't work it anymore. It's too hard. It's too hard to mold. Um, if you want a longer working time, you can you can mix it about 60-40, about 60% uh, resins, 40% hardener. If you want a um, shorter working time, you want it to harden quicker, you can use about 60% hardener and 40% resin. So these are some things. And also, you can actually um, stave off hardening. Like say you're done for the night, you put it in, put, put you, you mixed clay, you mixed um, epoxy in the freezer and keep it nice and cold and it will, um, it will, it will retard the hardening process so you, you should be able to still work on it. And uh, conversely, you can heat it with a hair dryer to, to um, accelerate the hardening, say you're done and you want to harden or if you want to just harden certain parts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to clear this off. I'm going to mix, I'm going to show you how I cut and mix these. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the hardener and the resin here, and um, this dark one here is the hardener, and the light one there is the resin. And um, I wanted to give you a safety precaution about this. Make sure you read this label on here, because this hardener, although it's safe to handle, do not get it in your eyes. It can be dangerous to your eyes. So once you start working with this, do not touch your face. Um, keep your hands away from your face and away from your eyes. Now, so that's just a safety warning. And when you're done using this, make sure you wash your hands really well. And of course, you don't eat any of this. This is not ingestible. This can cause this can cause um, poisoning. So as far as eating it or getting it in your eyes, so I recommend you wear safety glasses, and then you're all set. You know, you won't have to worry about your eyes. So I've I've cut myself off two pieces here that are the same, and this is going to be more than enough to do our our figure you know we should get a lot out of this I'll have a lot of extra but I'm gonna I'm working big so you can you know see what I'm doing here and the stuff uh, you put it together and you mix it now make sure you wrap this all back up nice and tight because this will dry up Okay, I've mixed those two together and this is really nice. And this stuff is terrific. I love this stuff. It's really good to work with. It's got a certain amount of stick. And it <clears throat> it takes to tooling very well. You can with very little bounce back, you can get nice shape out of it and it doesn't it tends not to bounce back very much, you know? So that's why I, I like this Procreate. You know, you can get some really good definition out of it. It stays where you put it. And I'll be using my little paddle here to take little pieces and uh, put them on the. There we go. I'll be using my paddle here. First, I'll use my hands to use to make bigger pieces. And this is the process I'm going to use. If you can see this now, I am going to start, and this is how I recommend you do it. I'm going to start with the feet down the bottom, and then I will work my way up the legs, and I'll do the whole torso. And that'll be pretty much done. So I get all this inside area first, and I'll get as much detail on there as I can before I even worry about the arms. Um, that's because once the arms are on, you, they're going to be in your way. So you want to get... Um, some people will actually not put the arms on their armature. They'll leave them off, and they'll build the whole torso, and then let it dry, drill holes, and glue in the arms, which is a good idea, and it does work well, but... Well, for, e for easiness and for understanding, I'm going to just do it this way, and you'll see as I go. So that's the basic process you use, and um, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Make sure you, you're safe, you don't touch your eyes or your face with your hands, and don't ingest any of this stuff, and wrap it all back up in its foil really well, especially the ends, to save it, because it will dry out on you. So uh, thanks for watching uh, part 11 of uh, Sculpting Fantasy, Min Fantasy Miniatures, and uh, hopefully I'll be getting part 12 to you real soon. Thank you. More, Lots more stuff on my website at www.stormycastle.com.